purely by chance that I got into it as well. And when it was first explained to me, I, I was sceptical. And then, again, like I said, I had the, the confidence. It's like when it was explained what it was all about, I says, come on then, I'll, I'll give it a go. And I did think I'd do a lot better than I, than I actually did yeah, on that I first class. That. And I was just toyed with. Yeah. And I thought, oh my God, I know nothing. Yeah. So and that's why if you have an ego, you just don't last. Yeah, well, precisely. You know I mean? yeah. If you've got a big ego and you come to the gym expecting straight away to be the top dog, nah, you've got a few years. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I don't but care who you are, you're going to have a few years. You also see the people come in that, um, that are a bit nervous and a bit you know, sceptical of doing it and then they roll with the higher ranked people or, or the better people in the gym. And um, they kind of avoid the better people at first and they stick down you know, with the white belts and the newcomers and then they realise... Down there is savage. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. you're better off going and rolling with the better people. Yeah, that's true. And then you get less you, elbows in the face. You, you, well, I don't know. There's a few higher <laughs> ranks that um, have flailing limbs, should we say. But uh, yeah, they kind of avoid the uh, purples and browns and, and black belts and things like that because they think, you know, this is going to be, be savage. But mm -hmm. after they've rolled with the higher ranks and they think, this is a lot nicer and a lot more pleasant than rolling down there with the newcomers who have. Uh, feel like they've got something to prove almost. Yeah, that's um, true. Where the rest, everyone else goes a bit easier or, or kind of matches energy or, yeah. or shows people. Or, you know, you'll put someone in a situation and then you'll wait. You won't start doing stuff to them. It's like, that, you know, I'm giving you an out here. Let's mm. see if you, you pick it up and run with it. So it helps their progression. Plus it doesn't prove anything, does it? You know, when a newcomer comes down and the higher ranks, you soon get put in your place. If, yeah, if, if, if someone started running through newcomers or, or white belts, it did quickly get picked up in the gym and um, you know nipped in the bud. But yeah. luckily, where we train, it's not it's not really like that, is it? We've never really had anyone like that that's tried to prove anything or, or there's, there's show off against. There's been a couple on the on the beginners classes that I can think of. Oh, okay. Uh, I have seen them one, like one or two uh, meatheads, if you like, that have come down. You know, they go to the gym or whatever. The big, strong guys, gritting their teeth, holding the breath, not really making yeah. much progress do you know what I mean they're you, quite you watch happy roll, to, to go really away with a little a win against someone that just worked yeah, his maybe, 9 till but, 5 yeah maybe but I, I think <clears> a lot of the time they go away frustrated that it's not what they thought it was going to be it's, it's not a it's not going to be an ego stroke no do you know what I mean you got to you just basically got to put yourself in a position to be the nail I've always said to all the beginners you got to come down with that mindset that you're going to be the nail for 12 months. Yeah. And that's not in a bad way. No. You're not going to get hurt for 12 no, no. months or anything like that. You're going to come down, you're going to do a lot of learning. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? There's no real winning or losing in the training anyway, but you're going to do a lot of learning. And after 12 months, there'll be a load of new people that will come in. Yeah. And your level's gone up to here now, so you're no longer at the bottom, you're up to here. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. slowly but surely, you, you know, you work up the ladder. Yeah. Um, I've always said about the um, high tide raises all ships. Yes. So the more people you get coming in, the more you start boosting the levels up, the, the level goes around for everyone else mm. and it, it pushes everyone who's above that up as well. Um, it's gotta be the way. There's literally no shortcut in getting better. It, it's not, not so much a rite of passage, but you know they're taking their licks early on and so, some people get buzzing from it because they've, mm. probably, they've probably gone there with that much, um, I don't know, they're a bit apprehensive that, oh, this is gonna be horrible, I'm gonna get beat up, I'm this, this. Cause, cause it is a different martial arts to karate where people are just standing there going to be doing katas and probably a little bit of semi-contact mm. sparring. There is sparring, um, which does, well, it, it makes it a legitimate martial art, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. And it, it, you know, it puts it to the test properly. Yeah. I think one of the things that it does, it takes away a lot of the delusion in martial yeah, okay. arts. I think with, um, I, I'm not going to go into different martial arts too much because I don't want to shit on any other martial arts, but, um, you know, there's some martial arts where there's less sparring and you can be delusional into thinking that the, the things that you're doing are just going to work on whoever you imagine in front of you, whether it's a seven foot guy, an animal, do you know what I mean? Could I, could I take on a gorilla? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, you know, you have this delusion that you think, well, I'm doing the move, I'm doing it to the best of the ability that I can do it, that the instructors showed me to do it. Yeah. What more is there to do? There's no other, other levels after mm. this. But when you're doing sparring, like we're doing on our, um, on our jiu jitsu classes, and you're sparring against different guys, different weights, heights, mm -hmm. all the rest of it, yeah, you might have a move that works on the majority of people, and then yeah. it doesn't work on yeah, everyone. Yeah. And now you've either got to accept that, okay, that's not the move for me. I've got to change my approach here. Well, you take your, your technique, you make it better, you make it work on everyone. And that's 
a big part of the journey in, in jiu-jitsu. And it is, it is literally a journey, isn't it? Because it's, um, there's no shortcut. It's not like you can all of a sudden discover a YouTube video and think, I've cracked this. Mm -hmm. You know, you might get little yeah, tweaks yeah. here and there that you can add into your game. But when, when people start up and you say, you know, you've got to accept 12 months of being the nail, that's something we've all had. 